Hello everyone. Welcome to Dinesh QL. My name is Dinesh Priyankara, Microsoft MVP and IT consultant. Let's talk about Microsoft Fabric capacities. A question I often get from my customers is, how can we automate posing and resuming a capacity? Yes, they can do it manually whenever they want, but automating it can be a better option, specifically if the timing works for the business. What are the ways of uh, you know automating this process? I've seen many options for automating posing and resuming. Uh, you know, I know that some use logic caps along with uh, Python codes, but with this video, let's have a look on uh, APIs given as a part of uh, Fabric uh, API, uh, the SDK. Uh, and then let's see how we can call these APIs using Data Factory pipelines, okay? So uh, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, so if you go to, uh, you know, Azure REST API reference page, uh, if you go to learn.microsoft.com and then uh, you know look for REST APIs, you will see a one page that uh, you know contains all the APIs related to uh, you know various type of Microsoft platforms, tools, and services. So if you uh, you know look for Fabric, then you can see all the APIs related to Fabric. So you can find uh, you know APIs for uh, managing your Fabric resources operating your fabric resources if you want to perform some tasks yes there are some uh, you know apis so you can try out all these things but with, with for for automating uh, this process we'll be using three apis get suspend and resume so the get is basically used for uh, getting the state of the capacity okay before you continue or let's say you are planning to post the capacity so you need to check and see whether it is up and running or not okay or if you are going to uh, you know resume the capacity then you need to check and see whether um, it is already stopped or not right so the get api can be simply used as you see um, you know you have to pass the subscription id resource group name and uh, capacity name okay those are the three things you need to pass when you uh, call this api uh, the second api is suspend so that's all about posing so if you want to post the capacity this is the api you have to call um, so you you have to again pass subscription id resource group name and the capacity name so just like suspend um, you can call the resume apis for starting the capacity so again it needs same three uh, parameters su subscription id resource group name and capacity name okay how do we configure the data factory pipeline so you have to start with the web activity okay so we'll be using the web activity for calling the api so the first thing is you call the the fabric get api for checking the state of the fabric capacity now uh, whether you're going to check the state or whether you're going to pause or resume you need to make sure data factory account has enough permission for performing these operations against the fabric capacity so how do we configure the permission? All you have to do is get the manage identity of the data factory account and add that account as a, a contributor for fabric capacity. I'll show you the way of you know, configuring that permission, but you need to make sure that fabric, uh, sorry, uh, Azure data factory manage identity has enough permission for performing these operations. Once that is configured, then you can have the web activity for checking the state of the capacity, all right? Uh, so once you know the state, let's say, uh, you know, there can be two outputs when you check the state of the capacity, uh, active or post. So if you get the return value as active, which means capacity is up and running, then you can go for the, uh, the next step, okay, and then call the suspend API, okay. Um, so our requirement is simply to post the capacity, so we have to call the suspend. But if you are creating a pipeline for resuming the uh, capacity, you need to check the state. And if the state is uh, post, then you have to call the resume API, right? That's what you have to do in order to automate this. All right. So let me open my Azure environment and then, uh, uh, you know, show you the way of configuring all of these things. But before that, I'll show you uh, the page you have to uh, refer for seeing all these APIs. Uh, this is the page for referring uh, all the REST APIs. Um, so you can see, uh, you know, various Azure services, platforms, AI services, uh, what else, uh, you know, Azure Migrate. So let me scroll down and then uh, we should see Fabric. Uh, this is the Fabric node. 
I can click on these two, get it expanded, and then reference, uh, resource manager. Uh, under fabric capacities, I should see uh, my APIs. See, the first one is get. If I go to get, I can see the uh, uh, API that has we called for getting the state of the fabric capacity. And then I can see resume. This is the resume one. I can see suspend as well. Okay. In addition to that, under operation, you can see a uh, few other, um, you know, APIs that can be used against uh, fabric. Okay. But our focus is basically APIs related to fabric capacity. Now let's open my Azure environment and see the way of configuring the Azure Data Factory pipeline. All right, um, this is my fabric capacity. Uh, you can see it is up and running. And uh, this is my Data Factory account. Okay, uh, the first thing we have to do is we need to make sure Data Factory uh, account manage identity has enough permission for performing uh, those operations. Like we need to check the state, then we need to, uh, you know, pause or resume. So uh, we have to make sure that data factory managed identity is added to one of the roles related to the capacity. So how do you do it? Uh, you can see access control. Let me click on it. Uh, when you go to access control, you can see add button, click on it to expand it. You can see add role assignment, select it. So when you, when you are on this page, you can see uh, two tabs job function roles and privilege administrator role. So let's select the second uh, tab, okay? And then uh, I'm going to select the contributor role. So if you are a member of contributor role, then you can uh, perform operations like posing and uh, uh, resuming the capacity, right? Uh, okay, I selected the role, click on next. Uh, what we want is manage identity. So I selected manage identity, select members, um, I'm looking for data factory. Uh, let me select data factory. And then I, I should see all my managed identities related to all the data factory accounts I have. And this is the one I want. Select it. Click on select. Um, review and assign. Click on it again. Okay. Um, so let's see. Done. So the role assignment is done. Now our data factory. Uh, account manage identity can perform operation related to the capacity okay right the next step is uh, you know go to pipeline and create or add activities uh, before uh, you know if you remember the uh, apis okay um, you know if i go back to this tab you can see uh, when you call this api you need subscription id resource group name and uh, capacity name so let's uh, go and create three variables for holding these values. Um, let me click on the canvas, click on variables, click on new, let me add three. So I'm going to name the first one as subscription ID. It's going to be string. And then I'm going to call the second one as resource group name. It's also string. And then last one, capacity name. Okay, uh, let me get values for these my subscription id i can go here and get my subscription id done and the resource group name uh, this is the resource group name copied pasted and let me go to the capacity so the capacity name can be copied like this Right. So now we have all three variables. Now let's let's look for the web activity. Drag and drop. Let me collapse this. So I'm going to name this as uh, get capacity uh, state. Right. Uh, go to setting. This is where we configure the um, you know API URL. So let me click on add dynamic content. That because we need to get the URL and then. Uh, configure variable values for subscription ID and resource group and capacity. So let me click on it. This is where we uh, paste the URL. <coughs> let me go back and then copy the URL here and paste. We don't need this get. All right, subscription ID, I'm going to 
okay i need to have at sign and then subscription id let, let me remove it and go to variables click on subscription id yeah that's done and i'm going to do the same thing for resource group at sign and then remove this click on resource group name have to do the same thing for the capacity at and then capacity name okay right uh, url is configured let me click on okay uh, method this should be get um, authorization manage identity so let me scroll down system manage identity um, resource it's going to be the same uh, url um, let me go here and then copy but not the whole thing let me remove all these parts So it should be uh, HTTPS management dot Azure dot com. Okay. All right. Um, so everything, everything is yeah, configured with the web activity. Um, so now the next step is basically check and see whether the state is active. Okay. And then um, if it is active, let's uh, call the, uh, the, let's call the suspend API. For this, I need if activity drag and drop configure with this right, let me say this as if active okay now what should be the expression okay let's open add dynamic uh, content and this is what you have to uh, do this is how you are going to check okay um so you have to say equal that's how we generally do equals okay and uh, what should we check so we have to check the activity which is get capacity state so intelligence simply shows us that's really great okay so that's my first uh activity in my canvas so uh that's what i want to check and then come up the comma let's say output of this we have a properties and then the state okay so this is what we have to check and whether this is equal to active and close the bracket yeah so no syntax error this is how you need to check okay you need to get the activity which is uh, get capacity state okay and check the output properties state and whether it is equal to active or not now if you are checking whether it is uh, post or not instead of active you have to say post okay but uh, this pipeline is for checking and seeing whether it is active if it is active then we are going to uh, you know pause it or suspend it so in that case what we need is active all right so expression is configured let me click on ok um, so all good with this and then what we want is if this is true we have to go for the uh, you know true area and then configure another web activity uh, for calling the suspend api so let me click on this go for another web drag and drop let me say um, pause capacity go to setting right uh, let's click on add dynamic content we need the suspend url let's go for suspend copy come back and then paste let me remove this post and then i need have to do the same at sign subscription id let's go for variable subscription id and then the resource group name Resource group name variable and then finally capacity name capacity name variable click on ok done this method is post and body you don't need to uh, you know add anything but uh, we can do something like this uh, test call and just pass a sample value like this okay um, yeah all good authentication same thing 
manage identity um, the resource you have to get the same url okay and yeah all good now so this should work um so i'm going to publish this um you know just to make sure that everything is saved and then let's debug it and see so it is published so you know that my capacity is up and running you can see uh, the post button is enabled which means my capacity is up and running so let's uh, run the pipeline and see whether it checked the state and then it uh, you know poses the capacity so let me click on debug my pipeline is queued okay check the capacity and now it is going through the if condition okay all good let's go to the capacity and see you can see it has been post so this is how you simply configure the pipeline for post in the capacity so if you want to uh, you know configure another pipeline for resume the capacity check the state and the state output should be post okay if it is true then call the resume api that's how you simply configure the pipeline for automating this process demo is done i hope you understood the way of configuring the pipeline for uh, you know automating the process of fabric capacity posing and resuming so that's all for this video um, hope to uh, create more short videos like this uh, related to microsoft uh, fabric and uh, that's all thanks for watching